Rise and shine, not so easy without that good night's rest. Yeah, it doesn't matter the amount of Red Bulls or drink or caffeine, I'm, it's still just draining at this age. 14-year-old Peyton Yancey's yawn says it all. I feel like if I had better sleep, I'd be able to focus more and really understand what's going on and help me get through my high school years. We asked the soon-to-be freshman to slip her shoes off and sleep model the 10-year collaboration between tech giant Philips and Madison's UW Health. So this will allow us to record sleep at home long durations. Wisconsin's Institute for Sleep and Consciousness Assistant Director, Dr. Stephanie Jones, says the comfy clinically tested headband for ages 18 to 50 unlocks Mr. Sandman's secrets. The brain is the business where the business of sleep happens. This is telling you about your brain during sleep. Well, the smart sleeper headband feels like a head-sized Fitbit. In reality, it does much more for the patient experience. It also has the capacity to stimulate sleep. So it stimulates sleep during non-REM stage three. So that is the good stuff of sleep. That's the stuff we think of as being restorative, making us feel wakeful. And those beeps, what Peyton or any other tester will hear hundreds, if not thousands of times during each snooze at the sleep lab. Because essentially what, what happens is you deliver a tone and the brain, not consciously, makes a decision. Oh, I can, this is a safe tone. I can sleep more deeply. So that's what happens. You play a tone at a certain frequency and the brain sort of does a check and goes to sleep more deeply, let's say. And teens like Peyton aren't the only test subjects. Oh, three, two, one. Launching soon into UW's smart sleeper headband study, NASA. Crucial for an astronaut is for him or her to be wakeful at a moment's notice. So, you know, when you take a sleeping pill, right, you, if you were awoken at three in the morning, you would have tremendous sleep inertia. Um, and for people who have to perform at a moment's notice, they can't pharmacologically mess with their sleep. So what we do know about this is, you know, it does, it, it's a, you can rapidly rebound from something like this. For teenagers, it's a little different. They have to be awoken in the morning and be able to get to school. Um, so we'll see. As Peyton. Good night, Peyton. Sleep well. I very much think that if I had a device that could um, keep me in my deep sleep for longer and help me to get better quality sleep would be very beneficial. In Madison, Katherine Larson, Spectrum News.